hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another episode 3.1.3 video this one is a requested video on the channel uh, some of you guys commented uh, that you guys need kingdom come deliverance 2 episode 3 video uh, so i am not really a big fan of this type of game like very slow paced uh, manual uh, action adventure because uh, you know it does not have um, much of uh, what do you say combat mechanics and everything it is very manual kind of game so yeah anyway uh, so here i am playing this uh, game so i'm playing it on right now 1080p with uh, graphics preset set on medium everything set on medium as you can see here and the game is pretty much okay i have to say uh, nothing too bad in the optimization department like i'm getting around 70 to 80 fps so yeah anyway uh, we will use the optiscaler to use the frame generation and hot fix so let's start this video without any delay all right uh, we will be needing this zip kingdom come deliverance to uh, episode 3.1.3 we're gonna extract this mod on the desktop we will use the installer method in this one now you can use the dlss4 uh, via the nvidia app i think because if you use the dlss tweak edition uh, the new dlss tweak edition uh, your dxgi will get uh, collided with uh, this dxgi because uh, winm dll is not working in this case so yeah i'll show you everything so first we're gonna copy this files then we're gonna go to the installation directory which is uh, here after that we're gonna go inside bean and win64 mastered shared pgo where the kingdom com.ex is located we're gonna paste the mod here after pasting we're gonna run the optiscular setup.bat now in here uh, we will select the dxgi because winm dll is not working i have tried and that's why i told that the new dlss tweak will not work because the new dlss tweak already have a dxgi dll inbuilt so you can try it via the nvidia app i don't know i have not tried so yeah, anyway we're gonna press one and press enter then we select the gpu which one we have uh, i have nvidia so i select two and press enter again mod has been now successfully installed now I'm just gonna dive back into the game and see how much uh, FPS we're getting. So yeah, let's dive in the game now. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 offline activation is here. Looking for cheap prize and build for your first gaming PC? Then look no further. Pause the video, choose your setup and come to Discord and send message to the PC Hardware Pine channel. Okay, we are back inside the game now. Uh, in order to activate the FG, we will need to activate the DLSS first now if you have run everything uh, you should now be able to use the dlss in game so go to the graphics setting and in here scroll down and in this technology option resolution scaling technology you will select dlss now and uh, mode you can set to quality balance whichever you want and after that press on confirm click on yes it will take effect and after that uh, you can uh, go inside advanced graphic and you can uh, disable the anti-aliasing it will uh, get blocked out if you activate the dlss at the first hand so you can disable this uh, like before activating the dlss or maybe leave it i think it's already not in used so yeah, anyway uh, we're gonna get back inside the game now press ins slash insert here and uh, this opti ui will open up click on fg uh, active and click on hood fix now you will see that uh, fg and hood fix are working i will disable the ms after one for one second because ms after one do mess up with the hood so right now you can see the dlss hood or this thing will flicker because this is not a game element and the game sees it as the hostile element and it does not fix the hood uh, like the die all right so anyway if you want to check the debug view you can also check you can click the ins again and click on the debug view and it will show you that the uh, right bottom one is uh, with the hood and everything and the center bottom one is without the hood don't mind the dlss overlay uh, that's just how it is 
so yeah this will be it for this video now if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel if you are facing any kind of issue then comment down below or join the discord and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one also the fps is uh, very much like uh, 140 150 so yeah it's uh, very good this mod is working pretty okay i think